Pranam, this is Rahul Kapoor Jain and it's time for me to explain to you another beautiful concept of Jainism on Ekantwad. I love this. Ekantwad, one thought, one truth. On Ekantwad, many thoughts, many views, many aspects of the truth. How can that be is the big question. Simple stuff. I say something, you hear it, you should just hear it the way I said it, interpret it the way I said it. But why doesn't it happen? Simply because there's a lot of complexity that goes on over here in the brain. Whenever we receive information, how are we going to do so? Firstly, that's the question, through our five senses. Now, depending on which sense of yours at that point in time is predominant, you're going to try and capture that information using that predominant sense first. And therefore, the way you perceive it, the other person may not perceive it the same way. Easier so far. Maybe not so complex. But let's go one level deep in and you'll realize that our human brain has three major filters called generalization, deletion and distortion which further has 13 more and i'm not going to talk about that today but with these three major filters the information that was acquired from outside has already gone through a lot of changes further down if you look at it what we do as human beings is use a concept called a e i o u a we create our own assumptions e we evaluate things the way we want to i we create our own impressions about things o opinions and finally you our own understandings because these are ours we are now manipulating that piece of information in different ways of course innocently because all this is happening in the black box over here for the down when you go deeper in you get to see that comes in a layer of beliefs and attitudes values and our past experiences so all the information that has now come into this point has to get validated with these layers. And when it comes to this part, the reality is not the reality the way it was. It is now your reality. Does it stop over here? No, it doesn't. It goes further down because now using this piece of information with this internal reality, we create what we call the internal state. And that internal state that we create creates an emotion. When that emotion is created, that emotion is the cause for the behavior that we have. So sometimes we see, right, same piece of information, but one person receives it and behaves very excited and happy about it, but the same person is depressed and angry about it. Why? Because it's going through so many different layers of filters. Finally, of course, if you look at behavior over here and behavior over here, and you put another five people and you're gonna have five new behaviors coming in, why? simply because information was the same but then there's so much of filtering that has gone in it's a complex subject the question is rahul how do we overcome it now that's a subject for another day but for now what jainism says is this that because the process is so complex we all need to try and have the sense of realization and responsibility to accept everybody's view listen to them carefully express ourselves be open to the fact that the communication process has gone through so many different filters and try and make an attempt to understand each other and therefore live better. For after all, we live in a world of interdependence and interconnectivity. All we have to do in this life is learn to understand each other using the concept of Anekantwa. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much.